Howdy! Today is day 23 of my Great America Rail journey. In this video, I visit Taos, Los Alamos, and Santa Fe, New Mexico. My first stop was Taos Pueblo World Heritage Site. I'm at the Taos Pueblo World Heritage Site just outside of Taos, New Mexico. And here uh, in my visit to Taos, this was the number one place, obviously, that I wanted to visit. So uh, this is very cool. Let's check it out. There's a guided tour that takes place in front of the church at 4 p.m. And that's literally in three minutes. So I'm walking to the church now across the bridge over the creek. And there's a dog. Hey, buddy. Okay, headed to the church. We have like two forms of government, a traditional form of government and a modern form of government. So our traditional form of government we call our tribal council. It's a group of some of our elder men who oversee and influence the, the decision making for our tribal government. So we have a tribal governor here who is equivalent to the New Mexico state governor. It runs offline. It takes forever or something. I just had a great tour by Bear. She was a great tour guide and uh, she actually graduated from college and everything, but she lives here in the community and just gave me lots of insight and information about the Puebloan people. I can't say it, I'm sorry, uh, but it's so cool and just so interesting that people actually you know, live here, live in this community, uh, both inside the walls and a lot more outside. My tour guide Bear said that these racks right here are used for drying meats. Uh, they do their own hunting and fishing, and this is where they dry them. This, the cemetery, is the site of their original church. In fact, uh, the structure right back here has the old church bell on it. I'm at the Taos Valley RV Park and Resort just outside of Taos, New Mexico, and I've got my tent set up and ready to go for the night. I don't have the rain fly on it because it's pretty hot and there's 0% chance of rain tonight. And really the low is only gonna get down into the 50s. So I might put it on one side and then if it gets too cold, I could just droop it over the other side. Uh, but for right now, it's gonna stay off. So this is a beautiful uh, campground and uh, excited to be here. My campground neighbors were from Arizona, traveling around the country for six months on their sweet Harley Davidson. Greetings from Taos, New Mexico. What a cool town. It's so cool, all the buildings here in town have this adobe style architecture and uh, it's just a really cool, cool site.
when planning this 30 day journey, I knew that there were some places that I'd not been to that I really wanted to go to. And one of them was New Mexico, mainly Northern New Mexico. Um, I'd not been to anywhere north of Albuquerque and only in Albuquerque, I've just spent the night there before. So I haven't even toured there. So, um, you know, I planned a few days for this area. And one of the main places that I wanted to go to is where I'm at right now is Taos. And um, I've read a bunch about it and seen videos of Taos on YouTube and other places. And I knew that I wanted to come here and I can definitely see why it's so popular. It's just very charming and uh, just a beautiful place, very different than anywhere else I've ever been to. So right now I'm in the Hotel La Fonda, which is right in the heart of downtown Taos. And I was just talking to the guy who's working the front desk and this building has been here since 1820, but it's been continuously operated as a hotel since 1936 and it's absolutely gorgeous. The architecture inside and everything, it's fantastic. I love going into old hotels like this. I had a great evening in Taos, but it was time to head back to my campsite and get a good night's rest. Good morning from Taos Valley RV Park and Campground. I had a wonderful night's sleep last night, uh, but with that being said, I am looking forward to being in a bed tonight. I've been camping in a tent for the last four nights, uh, the first three nights in Colorado, then last night here in New Mexico. And so I have an Airbnb tonight in Albuquerque, so I am looking forward to that. Anyhow, I have a busy day ahead of me today. Uh, I'm going to go to Los Alamos, and then to Santa Fe, and then on to Albuquerque. So lots to do today, so come along, let's go ahead and get started. I'm in Los Alamos, site of the Manhattan Project, and behind me is the Groves and Oppenheimer statues. I didn't even know about this place until I saw the movie Oppenheimer, and I saw that I was gonna be in this area, and I had to rearrange my schedule a little bit to be able to come here, but I'm so glad I did. I'm looking forward to looking around Los Alamos. This building is the historic Fuller Lodge. This is Dr. Oppenheimer's living room. I'm standing in front of Dr. Oppenheimer's house here in Los Alamos. This was his actual house where he lived, but also they used this house for the movie as well. And I remember the scene when he first brought his wife here, his wife looked around and she said, there's no kitchen. And uh, so this is the same house.
I'm standing inside the main room here in Fuller Lodge. I'm back here in front of these statues, and I forgot to say earlier that, uh, you know, these are real people, Groves and Oppenheimer, but in the movie, uh, Matt Damon played Groves and Cillian Murphy played Oppenheimer. So if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you need to watch it. It's very good. I've just arrived at Bandelier National Monument. Let's go inside and check it out. I'm also curious, I know it's much more recent than the history, but like the early 1800s, mm -hmm. did the Mormon colonists make it this far south as well? I'm in Bandelier National Monument and I'm on the loop trail headed out to the cliff dwellings. It's about one and a half miles round trip. I think I wore the wrong hat. Should have wore the one that protects me from the sun better, but oh well. <laughs> Oh, wow. It's so much cooler in this room than it is outside. It's amazing. Very cool. I thought while I was here, I might as well just come on inside. It's actually a decent sized room. I mean, it's way bigger than my tent and much cooler. A little window up there. Looks like a skull. Here, turn and look at me. Yeah, this room is much larger. It's got multiple rooms in here. There's the outside. Then another little room here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Some national park sites, especially some of the smaller ones, don't have any fee or they have a real low entry fee. Um, this place at Bandelier charges $25 per vehicle and some of the bigger national parks charge the same or maybe even $30 or $35 per vehicle. However, there's a great thing they have and it's the national park. Anyhow, it's $80 for the whole year and it gets you into all the national park sites. So I bought that right off the bat on this trip and it's come in very handy, saved me a bunch of money. When I left Bandelier National Monument, I drove to Santa Fe. I've made it to Santa Fe, capital city of New Mexico.
Oh, this is fun. I've heard what a beautiful city Santa Fe is, and it really is. It's a lot like Taos, it's just bigger. And I'm um, having fun walking around the city square here and uh, just looking forward to exploring more of Santa Fe. I really like this public square area. They've got uh, part of the road blocked off just for pedestrians, which makes it really nice. They've got this area with all these vendors selling different types of jewelry and things like that. Lord, I hope my mom doesn't see this video. She's gonna ask why I didn't get her any jewelry. <laughs> I'm in the St. Francis Cathedral in Santa Fe. Beautiful building, absolutely stunning. Wow, now the inside of that church was absolutely beautiful. It, it's breathtaking and beautiful from the outside, but inside is where it really stands out. Love that. Behind me is the San Miguel Church. This is the oldest church structure in the United States. It's been around since 1610. Wow. I'm now walking towards the New Mexico State Capitol building. It's got a, a unique shape. It looks like it's perfectly round. I'm inside the New Mexico State Capitol and I'm walking down the hallway towards the House Gallery. We'll take a look and see if we can look in there. I'm not really into art, but this piece stood out to me. Well, it sure was nice to be able to go through the state capitol like that. You know, on this great American rail journey that I'm on, I believe Santa Fe is the only um, state capital city that I've been to so far. I know I'm going to be going to Boston, but I don't think I've been to any other state capitals on this trip. It looks like we might be getting some rain, but I've had a great time here in Santa Fe. It's about time to head back to my car to make the drive to Albuquerque, but I'm loving this raspberry lemonade. Mm, so good. That will do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. I also invite you to subscribe to my channel and please turn on the notifications so you will know when a new video is released. My last sunset of the American West on this trip. Tomorrow, I catch the Southwest cheat and head back east to Chicago. Thanks for watching. See you next time.